those with the birth numbers of 3912. So we have 12, which is creative cooperation and balance. We have nine for integrity and wisdom. And we have three for expression and sensitivity. So those on the 3912 life path are here to work through issues of creativity, cooperation, and integrity, expressing themselves through creative teamwork, aligned with higher wisdom in a spirit of mutual cooperation and co-creation. The life purpose of all ones involves creative energy, but most ones can create a relative independent or even isolation. Because of the combined influence of two, the abundant creative energy of 3912s manifests best in cooperation with others, creating a whole greater than the sum of the independent parts. We do not add together the final two digits of four digit birth numbers. However, if we did add them together, the one and two, we would end up with 3912 three, underscoring the double influence of expressive energy, the three for 3912s. Although 3912s share the core 12 with 4812s, their life path differs considerably because they combine the emotional sensitivity and expressive drives of threes with strong nine energy, including a depth of wisdom and internal seriousness, as well as charisma. Because of strong nine energy, 3912s feel most fulfilled if they cooperate in alignment with higher principles or spiritual laws, and if their work allows them to grow and learn. People working with birth numbers of 3912 have all of their energetic eggs in one basket, and they confront their life path directly early. But their issues of expressive energy, three, and integrity and wisdom, nine, with their cauldron of creative energy, one, and associated responsibilities, two, often feel overwhelmed at times. They may take longer than those on different path lives or life paths to come into their own when their psyche finally sorts out and harnesses all of their emerging qualities and drives. Our life purpose isn't what comes easiest, but when 3912s integrate their insides and find a balance between helping too much and helping too little, and when they learn to give to themselves as well as give to others, they manifest an inherent ability to create extraordinary forms of meaning, inspiration, service, and beauty. Whether working with another individual or with a group, 3912s display a depth of emotion, an almost religious internalization of meaning and purpose that lets them feel the depths of their soul and the souls of others. Nearly all 3912s have abundant energy. They're highly emotional. 3912s base their intelligence on emotional intuition and sensitivity to the core issues of life. For the most part, 3912s have little time for shallow concerns. They may need to lighten up and act silly on occasion to remind themselves that life doesn't have to be so serious, at least from a tra transcendental perspective. Most 3912s feel somehow different from other people, almost like outsiders. Due to their emotional sensitivity combined with the unsettled sense of identity of nines, 3912s often suffer from self-doubt and vulnerability to others' opinions. They may appear subdued or inhibited, 
but beneath their controlled persona bubbles an inspired passion for life and for making a difference. If withdrawn, 3912s need to get out into the fray to stand up inside themselves and bring their energy into life despite others' opinions. Most 3912s need to pay close attention to how positively or negatively they're using their creative energy in cooperation with others. They need to get they need to avoid getting drawn into other people's problems by remembering the difference between sympathy, joining others down in their dark hole, and empathy, throwing others a ladder. Those working 3912 come here to find their center and their balance so that they can serve others while also taking care of their own needs. This, in turn, allows them to regenerate and serve with others even more effectively. If 3912s feel good about themselves emotionally, they'll release and enjoy their creative energy to its fullest range and bring their passion and the beauty of their creative energy into the world. Overall, no matter what form their contributions take, 3912s feel happiest when working for a higher cause in cooperation with friends, colleagues, clients, and the world at large. When 3912s are working in a positive, there's many fine qualities that these individuals possess. They're magnified through their interaction and collaboration with others. They bring passion, presence, and expressive creativity into the world. They respect others' opinion as well as their own. They know when to hold their ground and when to stay flexible. They make loyal friends, and their relationships are based on heartfelt feeling and deep understanding and respect. They find meaning and enjoyment in their work, which makes use of their creativity and expression as they help others to do their best. These individuals show class and refinement, strength and sensitivity. When 3912s are working in the negative, they can become stubborn and insecure. And these individuals create in the negative through complaints and cutting remarks that reflect the depth, the depth of overwhelming passions for which they can find no outlet. They overgive, then find fault and withdraw. They have trouble getting along even with themselves as their drives compete for priority and attention and their mind whirls as they try to decide what they should do and for whom. They feel as if they're living for other people at the whim of others' needs and opinions. They have unusual emotional generated physical ailments stemming from frustrated expression. They can feel lonely and isolated. Because of the emotional sensitivity and depth of 3912s, what troubles them cuts deep. Their hypersensitivity is aggravated by the tendency to feel responsible. When under stress or when their energies are suppressed, they are susceptible to psychosomatic mal maladies and unusual illnesses, not just colds or the flu. This tendency decreases as 3912s begin to work their life purpose in the positive. The most valuable areas of 3912s shifts based on which of the part of their birth number they're working on. Their throat can flare up if expression is blocked. Their reproductive area, including abdomen or lower back, is also sensitive. They are subject to stress-produced allergies. Blocked creativity and expression underlie many physical symptoms, which serve as signs that 3912s need to open up their creativity and express inhibited feelings. 
Physical symptoms also signal the need for 3912s to bring their life into alignment with the spiritual laws they came here to live by. Most 3912s have refined dietary tastes and food and emotions are interrelated for them. If they're feeling down, they may not want to eat or they may pick at food. They may link food to consolation and overeat. The more they express their feelings, the more intuitive rather than emotionally dependent their dietary choices become. The benefit from, the benefit from exercise that combines elements of strength and sensitivity are, are yoga, tai chi, or even meditation. They can turn a basketball or volleyball game into an event, but group sports, if they even play them, have more to do with relationships than the game itself. More likely, a regular conscious routine of movement and breathing brings 3912s the most benefit and enjoyment. In relationships, those working 3912 are fed, nourished, and guided by their emotions. As long as 3912 stay attuned to their feelings, they make good choices in relationships. They're generally intuitive, although not always consciously, that their primary relationship serves a larger purpose beyond companion or convenient sexual release. People working certain birth numbers do not require relationships to fulfill their life purpose. But 3912s nearly always feel a drive to share their life with someone, for only in relationship and cooperation does their creativity find its fullest expression. However, the relationships also serve as clear mirrors of all of their life issues, including self-doubt and insecurity, vulnerability to others' opinions, the need for honest expression, issues of cooperation. All 3912s in relationships need an understanding and compassionate partner. Someone who shares rather than makes too many demands because even though they have much to give, 3912s tend to overgive in response to demands and then they feel drained. In the area of sexuality, 3912s need to avoid getting drawn into messy situations. While it may not show to others, 3912s are romantic and feel deep attractions. They develop crushes every now and then. They need to remember not to get involved with anyone who has more problems than they do and to stay away from married men or women other than their own partner. Spiritual laws apply strongly to relationships. So if 3912s get into problematic situations, they learn painful lessons. The relationships of 3912s display depth and passion. As they bring out that passion within the secure bonds of relationships, it nourishes the soil from which their life blossoms. Emotional and mutual support provide the fertilizer and the magic. A fulfilling sex life, no matter how it is expressed, follows naturally. Once they find their confidence, 3912s make natural performers in many fields, whether they act, do sales, tell stories or give inspired sermons. They also do very well in creative support positions, can be great book or magazine editors, and their charisma eventually brings recognition, even if they start in the background. They also make incredible creative therapists who are in tune with others' feelings. Their multiple energies and drives lead to varied talents. These individuals can see and feel issues from different perspectives. 
they can bring forth sensitivity or strength as needed. Their strong opinion are usually well-founded, but they need to stay flexible and open. They'll do well in any field where their creative mind supports others to do their own creative work. They feel most inspired when their work supports a higher cause. Generally, the financial state of 3912s reflects on the degree to which they're working in their life path in the positive or the degree to which they have overcome self-doubt and focused on an area of work that uses their talents. Much of their energy is spent just holding things together, finding their focus with so many competing forces and opportunities within and without. Most 3912s make good money, but usually choose work with other criteria predominating. If they choose to help run a large company, they may earn a high salary. If they choose to be a storyteller in the park, they may just make enough to get by. Once they overcome their self-doubt and step into the world with their unique combination of talents and drives, their fortunes will rise to the occasion. To help you manifest your life purpose by focusing your attention on core issues and by generating specific action to transform key areas of your life. Cultivate, cultivate bridges of empathy with others, not shackles of sympathy. Respect your mind, but trust your feelings. Focus at one task at a time. Notice the creativity you generate with others. Reflect on the following questions. Do you appreciate your true capacity? When you experience self-doubt, how do you respond? Does your life serve as a good example for others? Have you found a way to use your creative energy in cooperation with others to serve a higher purpose? If any of these questions generated any insights, how might you put these into your practice? The spiritual laws that can change your life. The law of responsibility. We find greater joy in service if we know when to say yes and how to say no. The law of intuition. As we stop monitoring others' opinions, we connect with our heart's wisdom. The law of action. To overcome self-doubt, we need to acknowledge our vulnerability, but act with confidence. The law of higher will. Our willingness to serve a higher purpose can inspire us to inspire others. The law of flexibility. Staying flexible we make the best use of difficulties and changing circumstances. The law of choice. We can choose to express our creativity in a positive or negative way. Consider how you might apply each one of these laws in your life. 